These are Islamic fighters battling police right in the middle of Dagestan's capital city, Mahachkala. Few people have ever heard of Dagestan, but for the last three years, Russia has been fighting a growing Islamic insurgency in its poorest republic. These pictures are from an operation that began in March near the town of Gugden. For days, federal troops pound the rebel strongholds from the air and the ground. I've come to Gubden to find out what's going on here. Before the collapse of the Soviet Union, this remote mountain town was cut off from the outside world. But then the borders opened. According to the mayor, young men from here then started leaving to study Islam in places like Pakistan. The young men began returning from Pakistan. They wanted to establish a Muslim state here under Sharia law. They started killing those who preached against them or opposed their views. Abdul Rashid Gudjiev is one of those who opposed the radicals. He takes me to the spot where he was shot outside the house of his friend, the police chief. There were four of them up there. They opened fire with automatic weapons. So you got out, you got out. I fell down here. The bullets were flying over my head. Right, so these, these are the actually Yes, they fired more than 170 rounds. Abdul Rashid was lucky. He survived his wounds. But a few months later, the rebels returned and killed the police chief. Russia says it has won the war in next-door Chechnya. But more than 15 years after it began, the bloodshed in Russia's restive Muslim south shows no sign of ending. Rupert Winfield Hayes, BBC News, in Dagestan, southern Russia.